Okay, uh, so it sounds like um, the way people work is, is quite important and quite a factor here. And I think you've made some strong, a strong case for leaders to, to listen and take note of what you've got to say. But do you actually have any practical tips for public service leaders to encourage their staff to want to uh, carry out the mission in addition to actually understanding what it is? Well, some things that might um, stimulate the creative juices a bit um, from the work we've done and the people we've talked to and our, indeed our experience. Um, I mean, a very important start point, and it's very obvious to say, but are we committed? I mean, don't start an initiative unless one's really thought that through, um, because all initiatives go through difficult periods. Mm. And if you reverse and back off at the first or second difficult period, you've probably harmed things. Mm. So re really think about, do we want to push down this track? What are the benefits? Uh, what's the proof? Are we convinced? Because there's lots of other things we could be working on. So I think it's terribly important for senior, le senior leaders to really think about why they might do this. I think it's also very important when you start to push down this track to make sure that the top team, the people around you, mm. it's not necessarily the top of the whole organisation, mm. but the bit that's affected by this, sure. that senior team really are, have worked it through in their own minds. They've challenged each other. Because a, a, a fissure in the top mm. team is a chasm through the organisation. Sure. So really work at getting that uh, alignment before you, uh, before you start. Um, I think also in, in a number of things that one might touch on here is get to the front line. You know, this is about people's everyday jobs. It's about giving great customer service, great public service to, uh, uh, to the citizens. So um, getting to the front line and really feeling in touch with what's going on. Many people get to the front line to find inspiration. Mm -hmm. There's some fantastic things that people are doing there. So it inspires one. You get your message out and you also don't get into group think. You mm. know what's going on. And, and uh, the statistics show that one of the things that really disengages is when, is when the leader is promoting an, a, a thought about things being good when they're not. Mm. You know, so be, be realistic mm. uh, about where one is um, and, uh, and create the milestones that lead to success. Uh, we've talked a bit about the need to co-invent, mm. um, spend time getting people's opinion, creating something. Um, another thing that I think sometimes we, um, we don't put enough attention into is uh, if you look, for instance, at um, management books and management thinkers and so on, there's really two big topics, 90%, covered by um, leadership and strategy. But who implements all this stuff? How does it all happen? It's the middle manager mm. who has to make all this stuff happen. So really give a lot more thought to how we embrace uh, and join together with middle management who have to take this message on. How do we really engage them? How do we give them time? How do we let them absorb the message so they can, they can take it on? So work hard there. Um, I think that there's, um, there's a, a sense, uh, some people talk about a war for talent. I think that's entirely the wrong way of looking at it. Talent's everywhere. Mm -hmm. There are fantastic people doing fantastic things. The challenge is to create the conditions in which um, these people can, um, can be allowed to let more of this come to the workplace. So have a different mindset. And if you must have a high potential group, which I think probably you must, um, make sure it's permeable. Um, and make sure you can only be on that list if you can engage those around you. If you can't engage those around you uh, and you can only manage upwards, well, that might have worked in the previous lives. But it shouldn't work, uh, I think, in, uh, in this day and age. Um, and then think about uh, what it is you do that creates a sense of well-being in, in your people. You know, fair rewards, far more important, actually, than absolute levels mm. of rewards, is fair reward. Make sure people feel, we've talked a bit about listen to. Um, make sure people are being trained and developed. And, and if the temperature gets to 90 degrees in the summer and we don't send in an air conditioning unit or the chair's broken and we don't fix it, mm. um, you know, this sends a signal about what we think about people. So, so think about these things and, mm. and, and, and put the effort in. And, but lastly, if there's some dimension of behaviour we need to address in our organisation, make sure there are consequences for those who do and those who don't. Sure. So build it into performance management. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, can I just probe um, one issue? What are the implications um, from your thinking uh, for an organisation like the one I work for, the National School of Government, with, with our remit to run leadership development programmes? 
Yeah, that's um, a, a big question. Um, I, I think I think from this, the legitimization of, of these soft issues um, uh, to give um, space for people to discuss them, to recognise that we are in the end dealing with human beings, and in the and in the sort of 80s and 90s, I think um, we we had a sort of process fest where everything turned into a process. Mm. Well, you know, human beings, we need humanity. So I think these issues we've talked about. Um, around really believing, about being authentic, uh, about getting to the front line, about really listening to people, about valuing people, about how we harness talent. These are terribly important to engagement, which is central to winning. So mm -hmm. I think space to explore these areas and to bring some of, I think, increasing best practice and increasing quantification to these issues, you know, bring those to the to 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 the. Discussion. Bring mm. those to the uh, to the process to the, yeah. uh, to the, to the uh, training and so on. Okay, and ju just to close, I mean, finally, if you could pass um, two or three tips to um, Sir Gus O'Donnell, the head of the civil service, about creating uh, this culture that you describe of positive engagement amongst his civil servants, what what would those be? Well, I'm not sure I'd be presumptuous enough to give <laughs> Gus O'Donnell advice on how to run the civil service, but. Um, you know the, the kinds of things that, that come into one's mind that might help the organisations, you know, to, to to move forward and and to deliver, you know, their promise, their purpose. Um, I suppose um, a couple of things or three things that strike me, and I've touched on one of them already. I, I do think um, people who join the the public sector, um, you know, by and large, have a, a great desire to make a contribution, and sometimes it's assumed that that's recognised. I think an aspect of winning is, uh, is this importance of just how we are affecting the lives of people and mm. making sure we're aware of that, we feel good about that and we rejoice in those successes. An aspect of, of winning and making things better for the citizen. I think we ought to sometimes uh, bring that more uh, to, the, uh, to the fore. I think secondly that people want to know where we're going. You know, need to know how this all adds up to something, mm. what that something is, how that's appropriate to the time. So I think the nature of the dialogue between senior uh, civil servants and politicians has to create the space for creating that vision of mm. what it is we're trying to do right now, mm. why we're taking initiatives. You know, answering that question, why, as clearly as we can, mm. which then empowers people and engages them uh, to, uh, to get on with it. And the third, last thing I might talk a little bit about is, is this, uh, this issue of managing people and bringing the best out in people. I mean, I think um, you know, many people we've been talked to have talked very compellingly and rightly about the need to develop policy, and that's critical, but someone has to develop and deliver that policy. That's the people. Mm -hmm. So really thinking, not just about a performance management system, I'm not talking about that, although that needs mm -hmm. to be there, I'm talking about thinking, how do you create the conditions in which people want to give of their best? Um, how do we give people really honest and continuous feedback, positive and reinforcing, and sometimes very honest and straight talking? Mm. So how do we really encompass that feeling of owning people into, uh, into our daily lives that then perhaps engages better uh, and in the end delivers better, which creates more of a winning and a more of engagement? Great. I hopefully uh, Sir Gessard will take note of those um, those <laughs> thoughts. David McLeod, thank you. Thank you.